My name is Darnell Richardson. I'm the Executive Director and Founder of I Am The Art Foundation. I Am The Art Foundation founded in 2019. Of course, like any other organization, we've been doing work way before 2019. We started back in 2010 when we started off with our dance program in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We brought in young people and adults from all across the city to be a part of our amazing dance program. Later on, we added on production sessions, theater productions, uh, we did community services, we did community give backs, we did so many different events, just creating uh, and celebrating the arts, and just using the arts as a tool to heal and to just create a sense of peace and calmness in our community. With all the gun violence going on across our city, um, not just our city, but our nation, uh, we wanted to be able to use the arts as that way to be able to drive uh, just people to feel some type of sense of peace. A lot of violence is happening, not just in the particular cities that we service, whether it's Philadelphia or South Florida or Atlanta or Merlin, but across the nation, to be able to use the arts as a way to just allow people to feel that sense of peace, that sense of comfort. You know, we have a, a strong emphasis on dance with our dance program, and there's a saying that says, dance is universal language, no matter what language you speak. Um, just being able to use that movement as a sense of healing and for people to understand, to reflect and be able to connect with what's going on. So, you know, a, a big part of it is for us to be able to use that art form to be able to just spread the light. And not only that, you know, with, within a few of our, our, our partnerships, we're able to also employ young people um, to be able to give them jobs, working as mascots, working as uh, party performers or entertainers uh, across the country, um, and allowing them to be able to generate revenue and give them something positive, keeps them off the street, uh, and keeps them just doing something that would refrain them from doing something that could be negative. So we have an amazing arts and education program. Not only do we service outside of schools with our dance and performing arts training program in Philadelphia and the South Florida area, but we also uh, provide performing arts training to uh, local high schools, elementary school, daycare centers, and we provide that supplemental uh, piece to their arts program that they may have already or may, that they may not have. Uh, we provide high quality teachers. Again, we're connecting the arts where we're able to get performing arts, dancers, uh, music teachers, uh, just a wide range of artists from across the board, poetry, drama, and just be able to provide those professional artists with training, um, to be able to provide training rather to the young people um, that are in these different cities and just be able to allow them to either be introduced to it or to enhance what they're already experiencing. So we coined this term called emotional art therapy where Basically, we're utilizing the arts to be a sense of therapy. A lot of times people think of therapy and think of sitting in front of someone, having a conversation, just explaining things, but we take that and just pretty much elevate it and take it to another level where we're able to use dance, we're able to use uh, poetry, we're able to use mascot entertainment, just different forms of entertainment to be able to connect with the people and to provide them with a sense of comfort and the relief to just feel different, you know? Within one of our partnerships with our, our partner company, D. Richardson Productions, um, we're able to provide experiences. And one of the biggest tasks even when we're training our young people, we're training our adults that are part of the company, is to just train on the notion of when we're performing, or if you're performing, whatever the case may be, to be able to just allow people to break free from things that they're dealing with, trauma, whether they can't pay their bills, whether they're, you know, someone passed away in their family, just to be able to use entertainment as a way to just make them feel good get them out of that sad state and just to uplift their spirits and let them know that anything is possible. If you're interested in supporting I Am The Arts Foundation, you can definitely visit our website at iamtheartsfoundation.org. Give us a call at 610-945-5113 or shoot us an email at supportus at iamtheartsfoundation.org. Also, be sure to follow us on our social media handles, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, I Am The Arts Foundation, where you can see updates of events and check out some programming that we've already done.